interesting time with lockdown. Canvas is here on the go. My everyday practice. Come in here, write some stream of consciousness. Hex. Some of my supplies here. I have a tea towel in the window to block the harsh light that comes in that window. The reference painting I wanted to pull. Can't read. More brushes, storage. Countryside and so so quiet. Paint and trolley, heater essential, bin essential, small painting wall, lots. Those little books that I create, quite often I will take a piece out of that and put it in a small book like this and I have some here. But there's something in the looseness and the openness of these pieces that really appeals to me. Quite often kind of abstracted landscapes. Well, as I was saying, much of that finds its way into my work, do you know? Um, I love landscape. I live in the heart of the country and abstracted landscape. It's not even to me abstracted. It is snippets, moments, minutes captured. It's movement and it's nature's marks, to be honest. It's nature's marks that appeal. It's the wildness of the lakelands here. It's the wildness of the Brag and Bog. It's the wildness of my own front garden. The countryside is so different from how I grew up. And it captures, there's something I'm trying to harness. I'm always trying to harness something in the mark making. My work fluctuates between inner landscape and natural landscape. A lot of work over the years has been based on female issues on health issues, on daily living. There is uh, some work on homelessness. There is work on a broad range of topics because I have a busy head, so my busy head goes places. For now, post-COVID, I am continuing to explore landscape. Larger works I'm struggling with since Christmas and COVID, my energy has changed and I find I need to work with that energy. Sometimes the work is big and busy and prolific. And sometimes it's small and it's just writing. It's just sketching. It's two minutes here and an hour there. And all of it will feed back once I get pen to canvas again. Uh, I sometimes wish I had an alter ego and I could get out of my way and just paint. But that doesn't happen for me. So I blinkers on and do the work. And like I said, the work feeds the work, work produces work. And for me, that's how I do it. I'm self-taught, hence all the books, hence all the study, hence possibly a lot of the anxiety, you know, a lot of the issues about about you know there's 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 sometimes it's very fraught my work i also i always say it's feast or 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 fallow how i work it's personal to me i am both an exhibiting artist and a commercial artist a self-taught artist and yet i'm an exceptionally educated artist i i don't always know where I fit and yet I fit so many places but my work ultimately personal yeah my work is like my life it's layers 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 marks scars it's all there mm -hmm.